rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. City 17, my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be going. Welcome to City 17. This must be a mistake. I gotta stand, stand around here. that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. I don't know Sorry you. for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the Express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? 
I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Oh, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Okay. Pick up object. Maybe like that. Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Thank you for writing, sir. Of course, your question is to the basic biological Now, put it in the trash can. Alright, I also want to take some unspoken. Huh, an achievement. Do our benefactors. deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again. Allow me to address the anxiety underlying your concern, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have asked on yours. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our room. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical thinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural pieces. That's no way to greet a neighbor. Ow, I, was I was walking away. What's your problem? Loud ears for the wind. What's up here?
me again. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? I told you they'd be coming for us next. This is once I hope you're wrong. Take it anymore. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. What are we going to do? You think of something? When is it all going to end? Attention, resident. Miss House detectives in your block. Cooperation with your civil protection team. Panic, pull, ration, the war. I'm safe in here. Well, that's it for today's episode. We've partially escaped. I don't know if this is it. There might be more past this door. Let's hope there isn't. This has been Half-Life 2. Thanks for watching.